I said, brother, you, 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 you were created in the image and likeness of God. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Brother, you're a prince. You know what I'm saying? And that's who your identity is, brother. You got you to gotta bring it to them where, oh, they see it in a different light. You see what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm meant to be royalty. You know what I'm saying? I go to the word. Brother, I, I know I know you suffer from homosexuality, brother, but God created a, a marriage is honorable. And God got a beautiful queen for you. You know what I'm saying? God wants you to have kids and be fruitful and multiply. I try to get them to see the word in a positive. We, we think the word is scripture is bad. No, scripture is powerful. And it enlightens you to understand your greatness and your greatness in God. Like, that's who I am. And even people at Christians, everything is the word. I mean, I just, I'd have to go back to scripture. You know what I'm saying? I'm a son of the Most High. You know, 1 Peter 2 and 29, that you're chosen in a generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar nation, a uh, peculiar people, a holy nation that should show forth the praises unto him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Who at once were not a people, but are now the people of God. So to me, being a child of God is foundation, and I can build from that. But that's everything. How, how so? How does one acquire that foundation? You saying that, and, and just to clarify, you saying that the Word of God first, not the pastor. You know, they can't it's depend the on the pastor for that word. You have to be in the Word, because the Scripture says, "As long as you're in me, I'm with you." Am I? Yes. Am I? So yeah, I was yeah. start going to church and I heard about, hey, you need to repent of your sins. Yeah. But then everybody's different. You have a different issue, man, issues that I have. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but then after <coughs> studying the word, hearing scriptures, I had to take the Bible and open it up. I had to start feeding myself. I had I had issues, insecurities, self-esteem. Okay, no, God said, lift your head up, you know, be strong. Uh, you know, different scriptures that in the studying the word, see, God is his word. And God knows what I needed to be edified, to be strengthened, to be built up. So he would show me scriptures and have me read scriptures that would edify me, that would strengthen me in my mind. And people say, do the work. Well, the work is the scripture brings healing and deliverance if you apply it and if you put it in you. Just like a man, you want to lift some weights, you go get some protein, you go get some weights and you, you lift the weights. All right. Well, you got to go get this word. You got to read the word. You can't depend on the pastor. The pastor preaches you one hour <laughs> and one day out of seven days. Bro, that is not enough food for yeah. you to live off of. Yeah. You're going to you know be hungry. Saying? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be starving. Like, eat yeah. one day out of uh, a week just for, for one time. So we have to feed that spirit, man. We got to. You've been learning your identity. I'm 45. However, age you got saved, you come to God. You've been fed something. You've been fed some lie. You've been fed some some philosophy about life. Excuse me. <coughs> now you have to go back and undo all that. Yeah. Take it on God's word, but you got to time in God's word, and you got to spend time learning about about, about God. And being around other men helps you as well too. Men of God. Yeah. You said to uh, undo, and that's what the scripture says, that you have to have new wine with new wineskin. You cannot pour the word of God into you with the old wineskin, because what's going to happen? The old wineskin is going to break when the new wine starts to ferment. And as it ferments, it's going to cause cracks and, and break. So therefore, you, you just said it. I mean, that's a good point that you brought up. It's renewing of the mind every single day, constantly. Like you have to die to one flesh in order to receive what the Lord is pouring into you because you're going to expand, you're going to be filled. And when you get filled, what happens? It overflows, it overflows to other people. So that's a good point. It's like you're wrecking yourself. Like uh, you said, the old wine skin. So the old wine skin represents the carnal way that you've been taught to live life. Yeah. And then you're trying to put the word of God in there and it's just not, not going to work. Let's say, I think in order for me to be the best man possible, hey, I need some I need, I need to be in the gym. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I need to be lifting these weights. I need to be, hey, sugar. You know what I'm saying? I need to be, hey, hey you look at me, y'all. Hey, you know I'm sharp. You know I got it going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's how we think. But that's just the flesh. So so you got some muscles. What about your mind? What about your spirit? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what about, you know, if, yeah, renewing other around, even that, you know, when you get born again, you get the fruit of the spirit. What about your spiritual life? You can walk with God. You know what I'm saying? So much must more for us to be men as the flesh. So so yeah, yeah, you, you eat right, you exercise, but you 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 
efficient of spiritual things. Love, joy, peace, gentleness, goodness. You know what I'm saying? These things that <laughs> you need these things to, to live life. Long suffering, patience. So yeah. Not, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's you have to be complete, you know, and even the knowledge of these things come from the word, you yeah. know. Because most people out there in the world ain't telling you to be patient. You know what I'm saying? Or long suffering. Or show love. Even that, that's a uh, thing. Men don't show love. Men are strong. Women show love. Women are nurse. You know, God is love. We created his image. Men love. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. even that, it's okay for a man to get angry. If somebody somebody uh, challenge you, you put put them in their place. You know what I'm saying? You better not come at me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's false. No. Okay. You can have strength, but, but without allowing someone to take you out of carriage. Without, like, if you got to uh, throw some hands on somebody. No, you no. So these the world teaches you those things, but then the the, the Bible tells you otherwise. Even I was taught to my parents. My mom said, "If you ever get in a fight at school, you better beat their behind. You better not come home from school. Come out, you been in a fight, and let somebody whoop your behind." That's you know I was taught, and and it literally from the first day if you use a fight, say, "Did you win?" <laughs> you know, it's the first I, question. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> She, you know, did you, you know, and so that's not the right way because yeah. now, you know, as a Christian, I don't fight. I don't want to fight. And I have buried the old man of Charles. Mm -hmm. I've buried that, that brother who would flip mm -hmm. and blow up and get into anger. You, you ain't gonna talk, you ain't gonna call him my name. You know what I'm saying? And where he, I was thought just, I wouldn't, even, I would see red out I wouldn't even think to throw a punch. Naturally, boom! I don't do a punch or I don't cuss you out. I, I, I didn't. You know, you sort of you think about some stuff you're gonna say. I don't even think about it. It just comes straight out. So I had to crucify that brother. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You yeah. know what? Say what you want to. I've even got to the point where people can cuss me out, call me out, kind of whatever. I don't flinch. It don't hurt me. It don't bother me because I know that's not my identity. Yeah. I know that's not who I am. So you can call me whatever you want to. That doesn't. I have self control. You know what I'm saying I, I have the fruit of the spirit, and and also. I want my father to be pleased with me. And old Charles who, that's my story with y'all talking to, old Charles who would start cussing, you know what I'm saying, and, and saying stuff that was bad and get, get him in trouble. I know God said that's not good. God dealt with me on my anger. He said, I mean, I first, when I was 18, he said, so I was praying. First time I hear the voice of the Lord, he said so many that scripture, he said, be angry, but sin not. Yeah. But the world teaches you, if, if you disrespect, Jesus checked somebody. And people talk call Jesus the son of the devil. People call Jesus all kind of bad things. He yeah. didn't check nobody. You know what I'm saying? He didn't yeah. call no angels down. You know? He didn't throw no blows. So as a Christian, we can't do the same thing either. Uh, we got to love. Jesus says love. Jesus says forgiveness. So I, if you know who you are and know whose you are, you want to live according to to his ways and, and what he says in the word. But you gotta uh, study the word, number one. And then when the Bible tells you to love your enemies, you have to receive that. You said, no, nah, I ain't doing that. You can't say that. <laughs> somebody said, uh, somebody said, they persecute you to bless them and do good to them. Nah, I ain't doing that. I forgive you. I ain't, but I ain't gonna have anything to do with you. That ain't what the Bible said. Somebody said, God says, bless them. You know what I'm saying? To love your enemies. Yeah. So we have to want to do it God's way. And let me uh, back up here a second. You said um, about what you do, but, you know, people are going to look at Charles and say, oh, man, Charles, he's strong, man. He he can do that. But for me, I keep falling over and over again. But you reminded me, dude, that that's why we have to renew our minds daily. Get Guess what? We're not going to hit it out the park immediately. But as a brother and a sister, as long as you said, hey, I accept Christ, you have to make a conscious effort on a daily basis to follow these steps. If you fall, it's just like a baby trying to walk. When they fall, they, what, what do they do?